Dragonframe's DMX workspace can be used to control and animate over 500 separate lights. DMX is a lighting control standard that uses daisy-chained devices and dimmers. You'll need hardware to translate the data from Dragonframe to the XLR cables used in DMX. We make three products that can do this. The DDMX 512 box was designed for this. It's a tough piece of hardware that performs consistently on busy sets. It also has trigger switch inputs and outputs. Our DMC-16 and DMC Plus are used for motion control, but they also have these DMX lighting and trigger features built in. If you are using incandescent lights, you will be using an external dimmer system that can handle the power of your lights. There are LED lights with built-in DMX dimmers. Make sure that you are using the right dimmers for your lights. Okay, let's take a look at the DMX workspace. In the upper left, we have the master on and off switch. This switch will slowly dim on or off all of your lights. This will reduce the chance of popping a bulb at the beginning or the end of your day of shooting. This little area here is a master lock for DMX programming and also has access to overall settings. This area is for your lighting programs. You can create many programs for a scene. They are assigned to different exposures or to the video assist. The bash light program can be turned on here so you can create better lighting just for the animator. The view pane shows you a live view as you adjust your lights. You can also review test shots here. The keyframe setup area is where you'll add and set up DMX lighting channels. You can animate lights, assign a color tag, and control the light here. There are buttons for light full up, off, and solo. This slider is your dimming control. When you move it, you create a keyframe wherever the playhead is on the timeline. The keyframe timeline is where you'll create and edit programs. As you adjust and find your lighting, you may want to shoot test shots. This icon here will open the test shot tray. You can shoot test shots and change the viewing mode. You can see the reference tray as well. This is the same tray you'll find in the cinematography workspace. And you can drag test shots right into the reference tray. So let's take a look at this program. Right now, I have a motion control shot that I also wanted to have a lighting change in. And if I hit the space bar, that's like hitting the play. And that plays through what I have programmed. Again, the keyframes are made by placing the playhead and making adjustments. Another fun feature inside of the DMX workspace is called badges. Each of your axes can have a badge. If I go like this, that turns on the badge. And you can see I've placed them in the view pane relative to where they actually will affect the shot. So this backlight here, this BG, if I adjust it, I get a live view of it changing. And I'm actually changing the keyframe as well. If I go to this red light here, you can see I'm adjusting that as well. This can be a great system. The badges, if you have many lights, and it's easier for you to discern them by placing them in a graphical interface versus just in a list. All of the Dragonframe workspaces keep synchronized when you go to shoot. They also synchronize when you're doing tests. So this DMX program will keep in sync when I go to shoot a move test in motion control. We can watch it. And if you look in the view pane there, you'll see that the DMX program is going along with it. When you're ready to start shooting your animation, you'll hit the ready to capture button and that will synchronize your DMX program with any motion control and with your animation and audio.